This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. Today I am going to talk about mood boards. Now why mood boards are important in any design project? Because they are going to shape the direction or theme or style of that project. Okay, Mood boards are just a collection of few images, texts or clippings or even different screenshots of different portions of websites. Uh, even portrait images of different models or something like that or even just any photography outside uh, even if you have taken some uh, photo from your uh, classroom or something like that just to get the idea or theme or style of that design it could be colors font families or type or text you like uh, even if you like some icons from some website you just clip that and this is basically to set your theme and style of your design okay so now i have used this online tool it is called nice.co nice.co and it is really cool it creates a mood board online mood board and there are different styles you can choose from there are different stylings and options you can upload your logo and other things okay so i don't need that much i just change it the title and the subtitle and also there are options you can export okay so in the free account i have three exports left i can export it as a pf pdf and also zip file for all the images and also i think i can share this with the email download link private link password dropbox so you can share it with anyone or you can export it and send it to anyone and uh, the main thing is that you can also add people to this board you can add your developer teams or another designer you are working with you can add him over here okay now the main purpose is that you are going to set the theme of your design like you can see in this design i am going to use some kind of font like this one okay so i need a very bold very thick font very curved and bold and sans serif font like this one i like this one then also i like this one this these are the icons i liked i like two colors icons line icons uh, it could be a good inspiration for our features or step process steps area okay also you can see here we have another sample for text or typography then you can see over here again we have style uh, colors uh, typography you can see the grays the uses of grays and purples i took it from here then we have another inspiration i have collected over here you can see this user experience inspired by people this paragraph this button you can see the shadow the colors lights around it uh, we can expand it enlarge it like that okay so you can see it clearly you can alt or option click on this to reduce the size okay so these are different images i collected or the text clips or different screenshots i collected to get the theme and the direction of our design okay uh, if you look at this one you can see how this image is clipped inside this box at the bottom this is the idea i took from this uh, this area this inspiration or mood board and i used it in our team section where i have shows shown the images of our team standing okay so these are all the things and themes and colors and text and typography ideas even the layout ideas i used some of the layout ideas from this okay also you can see this uh, image have uh, overlay of black okay so very black overlay and grayish black overlay i liked it i used a purple overlay similar like this also the arrangement of the content over here i really like it here we have the address here we have our social links so this is the best way of creating your design theme uh, others can also add images or something like that over here okay so if you click this plus sign you can upload images you can add a video you can add text and you can add sub boards if you have multiple boards like two or three okay so right now i think i really need not more than these few okay so i really like these ones and i think i need only these to start my design even if you can add your logo over here if it is already designed you can add it over here so they can match the style with all this 
so that's it about mood boards if you are designing without a mood board i think you are missing something uh, you can create online mood boards or you can have just a folder with filled of all these images to get the inspiration okay so normally i create a folder on my hard disk uh, i use this tool maybe few days ago okay i really liked it but still i think uh, i will prefer my own hard disk if i am working alone if you are working in a team i think this tool is a blessing so there are free version and also a pro version right now i'm using free version and i think uh, that's uh, enough for me this is all about mood boards let's move on to the next lesson if you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like atomic design and eight point grid system and if you want to learn about wireframing how to gather project information ideation techniques mood boards style guides and prototyping all these advanced web design topics then you should take this course discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video get this course now for only dollar 10 okay and don't miss this opportunity